Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be looking at pandas, and then I'm gonna use 13 functions to show you kind of like how pandas and the data frame work. Let us use JupyterLab and write a small program using pandas. Notice here I say import pandas as PD, and then I have some data here, and what are these numbers? As you can see, I went to Florida State University to their climate center, and I downloaded Orlando International Airport from 1964 to 2020 and then I hit the download link and it downloaded a local file to my computer. I opened up that file in Microsoft Excel and cleaned it up. Some of the documentation on that website said a bunch of the values were negative 99 if they were missing. I removed those all. So we end up with 19,263 rows. Now that I have this data, I wrote a VBA script. This VBA script was very easy. I'm looping over all the data. Notice I'm going to be looking at the month and the day. When the day is 2, I mean the month is 2 and the day is 2, I'm going to put that value down here. So I'm going to go through all those years, 53 years of data, and for one day, February the 2nd, I'm going to get the mean value. As you can see in my list, it begins with 58.5. Notice 58.5, 60, 60, 62.5. So you see now how I went from the internet, downloaded data, cleaned it up, wrote a small script, and I built our data. Now that you see our list, I'm calling that L, and I'm going to say DF, like data frame, equals PD dot data frame of L. Let's execute this. And notice that our heading is zero. We can do better than that. Notice that we can put in columns and then this will be the name of our column. When I re-execute that, notice it says February the 2nd temp. Now you understand what our data is. Then on 38 here, I'm saying let's do it the mean value and that's 63.82. On 39, I'm gonna take the mode and notice there are two values that have the same amount of frequency that are the highest. That is what mode is. And then we have the median. Median is the value in the center of our set of data. And then we're using the standard deviation for a sample set. Notice it's 7.62. And then we get the max value, we get the min value, and then we do a group by, which is amazing. So group by and get the size. So notice these are all my values. And then I show you its frequency. Notice that we have a 4 and a 4, 64 and 68. Notice here on our mode, 64 and 68. And that is how mode is defined. Now we can also say group by size. And notice I'm saying greater than 3. This turns this into a Boolean expression. Notice we have 64 and 68. Notice the describe function, it gets a bunch of values right out of the gate. We get the count, the mean, the standard deviation, and min and max, then things in the middle. That's pretty nice, right? With just one function call. Then I can show you the data type of this data. Notice it's coming back as a float 64. We're going to use our data frame and going to plot that data. Look at this, one line of code, we get a graph. Graph shows us 53 years of data. The shape shows us a tuple of the number of rows and columns. And then we are going to sort that value. Notice that we're going to go from low to high. 44 is our lowest. 77 is our highest. And then we say ascending as false. And we go from our highest, 77, down to 44.5. In our last function, we're going to use the rename February 2 temp was a little long. I wanted to rename that to just temp. So notice I did a head of three and my header is now called temp. And there you have pandas using Jupyter Labs. And there you have pandas. You have to admit the data frame object has got some powerful functions. Just one line of code, getting all those statistical values, incredible. All right, team, appreciate you watching this video. Appreciate you supporting my channel, subscribing, leaving comments, and thumbs up. I'll see you back in my next video. Have a great week.